Hey ladies, happy April, we made it here. Wanted to take the time to welcome each and every one of you to our spring into summer April wellness challenge. We have begun a new challenge this month and I wanna welcome every single one of you to this challenge. I also wanna welcome our newest, newest challengers who are joining us and I will make a separate picture post to welcome all our ladies so that you guys can join in and welcome our new Fuego Fit Nation ladies. In this video, I just want to share a couple of things about how this challenge is run for this next for these next three months. I typically run a challenge for three months and then open a new group. For some of you, you are continuing with your program. And for many of you, you are recommitting to a new program or you are actually starting with your very first Team Beach Body fitness program, nutrition, and Shakeology, along with following the portion control system. I also have some of you who have started the Ultimate Portion Fix training, which will require you to fill out your daily workbook, to also look through the videos in the Ultimate Portion Fix material section, and to also keep track of all your information in the daily log, okay? So definitely wanna make sure that I share those things with you. In this challenge, you will log in your Shakeology daily, you will log in your workout, you will share your meals. One of the biggest and most important components of this journey is nutrition. I cannot stress that enough. Yes, the beginning is always the hardest um, for several reasons. One, you are learning a way of eating healthier foods, but also learning how to portion out your meals. You're also learning about meal planning and about meal prepping. Now, when you first begin this challenge, ladies, as your coach, I provide you a meal plan. I provide you a nutrition plan where it, where it groups your portions together and I take away the guesswork for you for the first week, second week, or third week. And then it is your responsibility to start creating a meal plan. And the way that you do that is by following the breakdowns that I share with you in the nutrition plan that I first provide you. You also get in your workbook an opportunity to, to use and break down your meals by breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I will show you an example of that here in this um, workbook that I provide you all. Now, if you're not sure where to find this, I will definitely um, let you know that you can find it in the file section of our challenge group. This 21 day fixed meal planner will help you write down your calorie plan. You're able to include your portions in every single box here, and you're able to write down your meals for each, for each meal, right? You're able to write, what do you have for breakfast? What do you have for snack, lunch, and dinner? Now I recommend that you print out two of these. You, you you mark A on one and B on the other. The best way to learn how to meal plan and to follow a meal plan is to create two meal plans. You can change your dinners in case you wanna make sure your family doesn't get bored. And then you can alternate between your breakfast, your snacks, your lunch, and your dinners. Now to keep it simple, which I highly recommend for all of you, unless you're okay with switching up your meals, I recommend that you rotate your meals Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, and Thursday. For the most part on the weekends, we have a little bit more flexibility, but if you are anything like me, you need structure, which most of you, that is why you join me, because you need structure. So I want you to also create a meal plan for the weekend. Now, if you're going out to dinner, then write that at the bottom. Um, take a look at the menu of the restaurant that you plan to go to. This this journey I love the most because it has allowed me to become more structured as an individual when it comes to nutrition, when it comes to nourishing my body because I am the only one who can make the decision of what foods I am going to put in my mouth. There are times where you are limited with food choices, but you still do have options and portions. So most of the foods you want to eat or all the foods you want to eat are no processed meals and no foods high in sugar. And that is what this portion control system teaches us. Through the food list, you will see that there are little to no processed foods on there and no sugary foods on there. All natural 
um, foods like fruits that are obviously have the natural sugars. So the portion system is going to teach you about what to eat, how much to eat, and how to create a balanced meal, and also how to eliminate or eliminating processed and sugary foods, which is a huge, huge culprit for the weight gain, for the diabetes, for the um, high cholesterol, for the belly fat, for the migraines, and for all those crazy diseases that so many people are experiencing nowadays. It is nutrition. The way we eat our, the way we eat is the way we're going to feel. So eat well or eat good, you're going to feel good. So that's a part of this challenge that I want you to learn not only how to follow a meal plan, but also customize your own meal plan by using the Beachbody On Demand Nutrition, the Fix A Cooking Show, and also following any of the recipes that are provided to you in your program materials, okay? For many of you in this group, you're using either Lift 4, you're either doing the 80 Day Obsession, and if you're doing 80 Day Obsession, you're definitely going to recognize these little things here. You also have here the 21 Day Fix, and this is the Spanish version. All the programs have the English version, Spanish version, and the French version because of our Canadians, okay? And then we have the Ultimate Portion Fix Workbook, and we have the Fix Safe Volume 2 Cookbook, which is amazing, and then your daily journal to log in your meals, to log in your mindfulness, your gratitude moment, to log in your nutrition, your water intake, and the hour amount of hours that you're resting. Trust me, if you are feeling sick, like sick, you have the flu or some stomach issues and you're not feeling good, please rest your body. Your body is already trying to recover. And if you are like sick, don't try to get in a workout, especially if you cannot eat. Like if you're so sick where you cannot eat, please do not try to work out. Your body needs the fuel to recover you know, eat well, rest, and trust me, it will help you come back stronger and better and help you finish through your program. So again, this is our April Spring Into Wellness Challenge. Please make sure you log in your workouts, to log in your Shakeology, to share your meals. I know that gets tedious, but please, please do it. On Mondays, this is an opportunity for us to come into this group and share some motivational posts, pictures, whatever you want on Tuesdays. It's Transformation Tuesday. Share your victories, your non-scale victories. How are you feeling with energy? Are you meal planning? How is your meal prep helping you out through the week? Also, tell me about it Tuesday. Tell me about your journey. Tell me about your meals. Tell me about you know what other people are saying about your journey. There is so much to share and I want to hear it. Wednesdays is Wellness Wednesdays. Share some of the things that you're learning about yourself. Wellness encompasses your mind, your body, and your spirit. Tell me, how do you feel? Like, what are some wellness tips that you want to share with the rest of the group? Thursdays, throwback Thursdays, Thursday, Thursday. Share your favorite Chicago recipe. Share some throwback pictures of clothes that you want to fit back into. Um, maybe how, like, one of the pictures you have of yourself that you want to go back to. It, there's nothing wrong with wanting to go back to your old self, especially after having little ones. There's nothing wrong with that. I want you to be your own motivation as far as the type of body and mental well-being that you want to be at. Fridays, Flex It Friday, Flex Friday, and Fight For It Friday. And when I say Fight For It Friday, that theme there sticks for me. It's not only for Friday, but for the entire weekend. For whatever reason, and this happens every single challenge, every single month. The weekends are the quietest in the challenge groups. Um, the weekends are meant for you to prepare for the next week, are meant for you to reflect and recover and recharge, but also to make sure that you stay on track with your nutrition. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are three crucial days, which a lot of the times people tend to just put, on, put to the side and not focus. Those three days, that's what, three times five, 15 meals that will be super helpful for you and your journey. Imagine there's four weekends in a month, okay? Four times three, that's 12 days. And 12 times 15, that's how many meals that you would be like kind of just throwing away. So I recommend 
that you focus on the weekends the most. Like don't just prep for the week, prep also for the weekend. Make sure that you have those meals for you to eat, that you're drinking your Shakeology every single morning, that you're getting up and doing your workouts because why? You want to see results in your house, in your body, in your mind, all of those, all of those components are interconnected and I want you to achieve success on this journey. Again, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you to all of you for making the commitment to a healthier you. And as always, know that as your coach, I am here to guide you, to coach you through the program. The program is the Beachbody workouts. The nutrition is your meal plan that goes with your program and Shakeology and the portion control system. If you're changing it, then I cannot help you. I cannot guarantee maximum results for you. You gotta follow the plan. You gotta follow the program as best as you can. And if you make mistakes, that's okay. There's no need to be perfect on this journey, but just be intentional. Be intentional with your workouts, plan out your workouts for the week, be intentional with your meals, like plan out your snacks, portion out your snacks, um, plan out what meals you wanna cook for your family or ask for help or get some like, go grocery shopping and buy some fresh dinners. You know, just ask questions, ask questions. If you're not sure of something, ask questions in this group. We are here to be to support one another, to embrace each other, to push through this challenge. And I want you all to achieve some incredible results. I'm telling you, we all have different bodies, but there is no doubt, no doubt in my mind. And I strongly believe in Team Beach Body. I strongly believe in Shakeology. I strongly believe in the workouts and in the support and the nutrition and all of it. Why? Because not only myself, my husband, my kids, but so many ladies out there have achieved incredible results, including many of you who are in this group right now. So I want us all to come together and just embrace this journey. Have fun. Let's have some fun here. Let's share our workout clothes, our workout space. Let's share some motivational pictures, some jokes, whatever you want to do to make this fun. Join me. As your coach, I'm here to cheer every single one of you on. All right, ladies. So again, welcome to our Fuego Fit Nation Spring into Summer Wellness Challenge. Let's do this, ladies.